There is something we have to worry about, though. We have to worry about this guy. <laughs> What's up, boys? Well, if you look under the dictionary, and let me see if I can if I can pull up Webster's right now. If you look under dic the dictionary under pure sex, Armand Rosamia's photo shows up. So yeah, I'm you know it. I'm just trying to figure out you know why that is. But All right. Armand, I'm gonna we've got Eugene, so I'm gonna remove you for a second. And Joe, you stick with me. Let's bring in Eugene Clark real quick. You know what? You, 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 you know stop. what, guys? I've been sitting here since like five thirty-five. And what I didn't know is you had to scroll down into your name and into the broadcast. I'm like, guys, I'm here. I'm right here. Hey, yo, I'm right here. <laughs> what? Then I, I looked and went, oh, I got to scroll down and enter the broadcast. You didn't tell me that. Come on. Now you know I'm a zombie, baby. What's up? I blame you, Eugene. Eugene. How are hey, you, baby. my friend? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How's the world treating you these days? Hey, brother, you know, staying safe. Hand sanitizing, you know, I'm losing weight, you know, because I'm scared to go to the, to, the, to the grocery store. So, you know, I ain't eating people and nothing like that. I'm just eating vegetables and stuff. You know, oh, dang. Come on, people. Wear your mask and stuff. So instead of Big Daddy, we have to call you Big Cauliflower now? There you go. There you go. There you go. The first vegetarian zombie. The first vegetarian zombie. There you well, go. Well, you notice in the movie, I never ate anybody. No, you didn't. You didn't. See? See? Yeah. See? I just had it wasn't to for lack of trying. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. Eugene, how are how are things how are things going? You know, I, I don't I don't want this pod this this I don't want to go too off track with right with everything that's going on because we want to focus on the families right. um, as things are moving on, but. I just wanted to touch base with you as as an African American male and as an actor. Um, there's been this the hugest or the largest upswell um, ever since the passing of George Floyd, and I, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Um, obviously, you know, you've probably experienced things in your life that I can't imagine. And right. how did that? How does that? What's going on now? How does that impact you, and how does that make you feel? Well, I was born in the South. Yes, sir. Okay, so a long time ago. Don't yes, let sir. this smooth skin fool you. <laughs> so let me put it like this. We have a great country. I still believe we have one of the greatest countries in the world. We have to, we have to come together. It has to be with love. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to look at, um, it has to be that way. There are, there are things that bother me because there are things that generate explosions on one side. And I see stuff on the other side. You know, when I see Chicago and all these killings every weekend, I'm going, yo, come on now. It should be equal, equal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I remember, I remember <laughs> there are a lot of places I can't go on either side. And yes, when sir. I grew up, there are places I couldn't go on the white side. There are places I couldn't go on the black side. There are places I couldn't go on the Latino side. Okay. Yeah. So all I know is I've traveled a lot and all over the world, when there are no black people, when there are no white people, stuff is happening to people. So it's like, let's live up to what our constitution says. We are one of the greatest countries in America, I mean, in the world. And you know what? Love has to win out. You know, we can't, okay, I played pro football. I played at mm -hmm. UCLA. So what I see now is a bunch of teens taking sides, you know, and it's like getting hyped up over the mess. Every life in the world matters. But this country has to stay together, it has to be cohesive. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we have to be able to, because if we do a real history lesson, no one really can say much on either side. If we do a history lesson going way back, you know what I'm saying? But right now with the pandemic, it gives many of us an opportunity to, to get a little insight into what um, the recipients of your, 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 your donations is the, some of the trauma they go through because they face, they face issues every day. They face yeah. 
Many of them face life and death issues every day. I mean, I applaud. Uh, why can't I think of his name right now? Uh, oh, Kane Hodder for asking you to include burn victims. See, they, they're going through atrocities on a daily basis. Yes, so sir. I really would like everyone to, you know, I know it's tough. I know, you know, Big Daddy's losing weight because I'm eating less because, you know what I mean? You got to pay the, he's like, pay the bill or eat the food. I'm going to pay the bill. So, but my mom always said, mama, baby, you know, you can afford to lose some weight. So, <laughs> you know, take some of that Starbucks money, take some of that candy bar money. You know what I mean? Uh, give what you can. Even if, even if you only give five or $10, give it because that multiplies. But I, I honestly think that we need to be, we really, I mean, so I know some people go, what? Lo yeah, love. Yeah. When I hate, it destroys me. Yeah. When I forgive and go, you know what? We got to. I mean, we have a wonderful family on the um, convention tour. We do. We do. And you know it's, a, I mean? it's a family. It's a family where, you know, I feel comfortable if I take my nine-year-old daughter. She can run around the entire floor by herself and exactly. I don't have to worry about a thing. Exactly. You now, know? in all honesty, to answer your question, uh, when I'm traveling, there's a concern in my brain. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I'm a military brat. And yeah. I was taught, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yep. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Because I have friends in L.A. who are, you know, I grew, when I grew up with black cops, white cops. And quite frankly, you, you act bad. <laughs> they both going to get you. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Well, Eugene, I, I, I want to pop off here but and, and turn it back over to Brian. But uh, from the bottom of my heart, sir, thank you for coming on, spending a couple of minutes here. Um, just sharing just sharing a little bit of love and a little bit of knowledge. Uh, I hope to see you back on the circuit real, real soon. Uh, and as usual, if you're not at our show, I'll swing by and make sure, uh, make sure you see if you need anything to drink. Um, no, don't do that. You take care of us, baby. You do take care of us. I appreciate that. I, appreciate I, I certainly you. do try. And I appreciate okay, what I'm you're popping doing. Off, popping off and turning it back over to Brian. Love you, sir. All right. Love you, brother. And Eugene, I got to tell you, you touched a lot of viewers, a lot of people in the chat. The chat blew up. Uh, people liked what you had to say. And as a result, we are now at $11,330. So thank you for that. Nice. My so, pleasure. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Echo what Joe said. I hope we see you next year, man. I hope so too, man. All right. You take care.